Two Connecticut Army National Guard aviation units are back home after about a year in one of the world's most challenging regions. Today, families and friends were able to celebrate them with a welcome home ceremony. NBC Connecticut's Toy Thornton has more. For nearly 80 soldiers. I was in Iraq for the entirety of the deployment. Home is just that much sweeter today. Today's been great. Good event to welcome home soldiers of the 126 and 142. After being deployed for nearly a year in one of the world's most tense regions, that's getting more intense by the day. You know, part of our job is to shape global forces, but we're also impacted by them. And uh, it was interesting to be over there and kind of see the world change a little bit on October 7th. They were welcomed home with open arms. You were in the middle of a very dangerous area uh, and you stood up with courage and you sacrificed to keep our country safe. You represent the very best of Connecticut and the very best of our country. The mission, Operation Inherent Resolve. Soldiers from these two units were in parts of the Middle East from Iraq, Syria, Jordan, and Kuwait to help heal the wounded. It's good to see the support system a year apart is a really long time, and I know it's not easy. It's kind of interesting. All we had was each other for family for a year, and we were able to lean on each other. But for their aching hearts, that simply hurt because they missed their families. They say it was the care packages and technology that helped. It was great. Lots of pictures, uh, drawings for my son, so great to still be tied back to home and all the snacks that we would have normally and, you know little pieces of home. Thank God for cell phones <laughs> and FaceTime. It, that helped a lot. Sergeant First Class Carrie Dufour's mom, Audrey Perkins, sent supplies up weekly. Every Monday morning, I go down to the post office and send my package of whatever I had collected for the week. And people, you know, would give me things to send over there, cookies, snacks, whatever, um, personal items, so they could share with the, the group. More than proud. She's great. From the older to the youngest, it's clear these soldiers were missed. And Perkins is like this kid who just couldn't wait to have them back home. So he had to break rank. Toy Thornton, NBC Connecticut News.